All right, good morning. Here we are, day two with Robert. We're down in the village. Sun's just coming up. Going to a really cool place. They call it the Rock. We've been here many times and it's great. And just like I thought, I make it down to the Rock and Mike has a fish on already. Was that first cast, Mike? Third cast. He's got a big king on, and <laughs> we'll, uh, we can't even see. <laughs> you can just see his pole bent in the reflection on the water there. Looks like he, I thought he was gaining on it, but we'll, we'll save some battery and get back to here. <laughs> first fish on of the day at the first hole. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Little Kenai King got some backbone here. Yeah. Oh, man. It's a beautiful fish. About a, what do you think, 20? Yeah, low 20s. Low 20s. 23. Low 20s and bright. 24. Thirty-four? Yeah. <laughs> Hook comes out. Oh man, look at that. Oh. Alright. Robert, thank you. Boy, good fish. Wow. Wow. Work. Sweet. Nice fish. So Roger, Roger puts the video camera down because Mikey hooks that fish while I'm fighting mine. We had a double on. And uh, he just said... A hatchery silver, dude. A silver. Hatchery silver. Hatchery silver. And a dark one? No, it's a king. It's got spots on it. But it's a hatchery king, right? Yep. <laughs> nice job, Mikey. Raj has experienced the difference between a fresh king salmon and one that's been in the river for days or weeks. This one's chrome bright and it does not want anything to do with this shoreline over here. <laughs> this is like our tenth fish that we've hooked up out of this hole. Raj, that might be a little bit bigger. <laughs> it's probably at least tw it's probably at least twenty. I know, but it doesn't look it doesn't look giant. Well, you haven't gotten it very close to us either. <laughs> there it is. Oh yeah. Yeah. You got him whooped. Nice. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yes, sir, I do. The pump. I think he's done. Yeah. Whew. Right on, thank you for your help. Darren with another big king on him. Right after Rod just landed and a big king. Going. I just got it turned. Oh, thought I had a turn. When Mike dreams of a heaven, <laughs> all, he, all he talks about is kings. That's all he wants is kings. I like steelhead now too. 
Yeah, you get a 20 plus. Mm -hmm. that. Kings are definitely my favorite. Fresh. Not, not huge. Dandy too. So he's got his spinning rod that's got 10 pound test on it and he's got him a bruiser. Have you seen it yet? Yeah. yeah I saw it. You stay away from that rock. He wants to tuck up underneath it. Here. No. That's high drag. <laughs> There's some more ledges up there too. This one yeah. got broke off on that big one that guy had. Try to suck him over that way, maybe. Wow, nice. Nice. Because Mike has got our, is hooked up on our first fish of the afternoon and he claims it to be a real one, he says. And it's giving him some serious guff, but I see it's coming in now. All right, put my pole down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, folks, this is... <laughs> if you're a fisherman... This, yeah. <laughs> this is a beautiful place. <laughs> it's a monster. Another 20 plus. All right, here he comes. He missed it. <laughs> he ain't gonna miss it this time. Bink. Got, that's the cutthroat. There's Darren. With his eighth fish, he's trying to get back to 50%. Yeah, uh, maybe 14. I don't know. Yeah. Nice little hook nose on him. Oh, you can give yourself 15 on that fish all day long. Here's Mike. Tenth fish of the day he's hooked. Some might say Mike is high rod. I thought that last one was red. Yeah, 